Fizier. <laughs> Put that blooming thing away and let me get up. <laughs> is it on? <laughs> Ephesia, is it on? <laughs> oh, right. <clears throat> Good morning. Tonight, I'll be recording my final last call, New Year message on the BBC. When I first started as a minister, I used to have to laboriously type out my sermons on an old typewriter like this. <laughs> of course, nowadays, thanks to computer technology, everything is so much faster. <laughs> you think? I've actually got all my old sermons in here. Even my very first last call. I remember it so well. Back in 1952, I think it was. The BBC was in its infancy then, and some of the camera work left a lot to be desired. <laughs> of course, I was, as always, assured, articulate, positive. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> And uh, uh, welcome to Tolly Hellevision. Holy <laughs> uh, 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 Television. Uh, under the Egypt. Uh, 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 under the Aegis of BBC religious uh, things. My name is. <laughs> what's, what's my name? I've forgotten. I've forgotten. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, yes, of course, it's, it's jelly. <laughs> it, it's jolly, jolly. I am the Reverend I am Jelly. <laughs> and and it, it, it came to pass that, that a man fell among thieves and they beat him and stripped him naked. Is it all right to say naked? <laughs> oh, 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 well, well, now, just a minute, but apparently he wasn't all that naked. <laughs> and he still, he still had his underwear on. <laughs> uh, clean on that part. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, of course, we can all play the Good Samaritan by approaching people lying at the side of the road in their underwear. <laughs> and bundling them into a cheap hotel bedroom. I've done it myself so many times. <laughs> especially, especially when I used to wander through the red light district in, in Seoul. Oh. You know, all this fuss about the computer bug has had a terrible effect on Ephesia. She now looks on the black side of everything constantly, anticipates the worst and dreads the future. For the first time in 40 years, we are on the same wavelength. <laughs> but let's not take all the predictions in the Bible too literally. Tonight, I want to take a long, cold, hard, rational look at what the new century will really mean. It's going to be hell. <laughs> so let's look on the bright side. We've all been through hard times before. I was born in the hungry 30s, grew up in the flaming 40s, delivering bread and buns and all kinds of horrible weather for a, an absolute pittance of a wage. Just a child, untidy, unwashed, unmarried. <laughs> oh, happy days. <laughs> Thank 
you call this? Do you realise we've been waiting for over an hour in there for that loaf? This is a very special occasion, young man. Or have you forgotten? father was in the jail that long, all he ever had was a number. But the other boys in school laugh at me because I've only got initials. Oh, do they? Oh. Well, I don't see your brother's H-P-O-K and R-I-P. <laughs> parents were lay preachers. Everyone said my father was a wonderful preacher. My mother was a wonderful lady. lady, lady. Well, uh, let's see what we've got here. With so many people predicting Armageddon, I thought I would take as my text tonight the book of Revelations. And the Lord saith, I have seen thy works and thy labour, and worse still, thy new labour. <laughs> <laughs> too frightening, no. <laughs> uh, the man's Reverend Jolly speaking. <coughs> what? Oh, dear God, no! Well, well, how do you expect me to take the news? You're one of my oldest friends. Oh, what on earth do you want to get married for? I mean, think, man, you're 87. You've been married five times already. Haven't you learned anything? I'm begging you, don't do it. I mean, I remember my wedding day. It was, it was uh, the uh, happiest day of my life. <laughs> Anyone has just reason why these two should not be married, let them speak now, or forever hold their peace. <laughs> Anyone at all? Of a good reason. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Terribly sorry, I'm late, but there was a, a terrible road accident just outside the manse. And you know how people will stand there and gawp and stare. I just couldn't tear myself away. Mister, <laughs> my fiancé isn't here yet. Well, I uh, understand you would like to be married in church. Well, yes. Even though we haven't been regular attenders. Oh, <laughs> I like to think we're pretty easy going about that sort of thing, aren't we? Uh, so your name is? Joan. Joan Kelly. Joan Kelly. And your fiancé? Janet Fraser. <laughs> J-A-N-E. <laughs> I, 
as in, as in Janet. <laughs> well, well, I mean, you're, you're, you're both, well, I, obviously you're both. It, it, um, I mean, you, you, you and Janet are, are actually... Well, if you would just let me... Understood. No, see, not another word. No, but you see... No, no, I mean it, I mean it. No, not another word. It's, it's just, I mean, I, don't misunderstand me. I, 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 have, I have no uh, passion about this uh, one, one way or another. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't have a problem. But I, I just, well, when I said, you know, the judge was uh, pretty easy going, I mean, what, what I actually meant was, I mean, you, you... You could, you could do who? who Reverend Jolly, you have just been chosen to investigate sexual revelations within the church. Have you any personal experience of outings? Uh, well, yes, as a matter of fact, I have. Only the other day there, I organised a brownie bus trip to Mogadish. You don't understand. Has anyone ever accused you of being gay? Me? Me? Well, uh, well no, but uh, I have been described as a cheery weasel. We are talking sexuality here, Minister. Sexuality? Ah, well, I mean, I'm not one of these clergymen whose sexuality is a grey area. I've been married to Ephesia for years and years and years. And my sexuality is a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've come to the point in my sermon where a serious biblical message is required. I don't want to be accused of jumping on the end of the world bandwagon. I'm not one of your Johnny-come-lately prophets of doom. I've been predicting disaster for years. <laughs> but I've been trying to find something uplifting to say. For the last 40 years, really. <laughs> Having written so many of these sermons, you'd expect it to get easier every year. But I really have to shut myself away in order to do it. Of course, all the great religious thinkers have been incarcerated in solitary cells at one time or another. I was incarcerated myself once. Unfortunately, solitary wasn't the way it turned out. <laughs> Who are you? I'm, uh, I'm a man of the cloth. Well, a windy cleaner. No, I'm a, a man of the church, a minister. Hey! That's a big idea! I tell you a wider solicitor! <laughs> As soon as you're here, you might as well hear my confession. Ah. Well, as it happens, I, I'm not actually a Catholic, you see. I... <laughs> I said, I want you to hear my confession. Holy Mary, Mother of God. <laughs> <laughs> That's my confession, see. I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. Yes, I'm, I'm having a little difficulty myself. <laughs> I mean, what's God ever given me? Halitosis. <laughs> used to be a good Christian, a good man. <laughs> well, I had it beaten out of me. Too late, I'd bash up the 
Bring me near me. By your father? No. By my wife. <laughs> my horrible, blood sucking heartbeat of a wife. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> What do you think about her? She's the horriblest, hackettest, most hideously vicious woman in the world. Uh -huh. What odds are you giving her now? <laughs> I'm a habitual offender. I'll do anything to anyone to get myself locked up away from her. What did you do this time? Same as always, GBH. Took a hammer to a Church of Scotland minister. <laughs> Still, it wasn't my fault. I did it in my sleep. Well, it's been nice talking to you. Time for bed. Yeah. I'm doing the same as you. Look at him, Nobby. There's only one chanty. <laughs> I would just like everyone to know that I'm not being paid any bonus for working on this special night. Mind you, you'd think I deserved something, even a cracker especially after having been the BBC chaplain for so many years. I mean, I can remember Archie McPherson when he had hair. <laughs> Back in God, when she was just a, a mere egg. I can even remember when Sidney Devine had his first singing lesson, just last week. <laughs> I suppose I shouldn't complain. After all, as a minister, you must expect to have to do a lot of unpaid work. Hospital radio, for instance. Yes, it's the Cheery Charlie Chama Show. <laughs> Over two hours that'll guarantee to get you flat on your back in stitches, and I don't mean sutures, madam. <laughs> anyway, joining me in Charlie's chuckle chamber to help flush away those bedpan blues, it's the Reverend I am Joey. <laughs> the no stranger to the hospital. <coughs> uh, no, that's right. <laughs> You know, as I was saying to you earlier, when people are not well, or even suffering, they certainly don't want some dour-faced old misery guts visiting them. <laughs> so that's where I come in. <laughs> so, have you any messages for any patients today? Today, I have a message for Mary McConnell in Ward 10. Mary... Your husband, Jimmy's, had a bit of a windfall. He was blown off his bike while crossing the street. He's currently in Ward 13. So, when you're back on your feet, at least he'll be handy for you to visit. Although, if I was you, I maybe wouldn't leave it too long. Visiting in Ward 13, or, as it's come to be known, the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> oh, 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 I mean, the joke is that if the if the doctors and nurses don't get you, the caterers will. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. You're some rack on turn, Minister. <laughs> I can see we're going to have to keep an eye on you. <clears throat> anyway, uh, can we have your next piece of music, please? Now, uh, so far, uh, you've given us uh, Tell Laura I Love Her, <laughs> Honey, and uh, Crying in the Chapel. <laughs> so you obviously like a good sing song. <laughs> yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, my. Uh, recipe for keeping cheery is just to dwell constantly on the unhappiness of others. It works for me. <laughs> so, 
My next choice is Old Ship. <laughs> What's the child's name? It's Spendona. <laughs> Very unusual name. Very attractive, too. <laughs> Spendona McQuarta. Oh, that's not a name. I'm sorry, I thought you said her name was Spendona. Oh, so I did. Spendona Jacob. I'm sorry, I really couldn't. Who's the child, Spendona Jacob? I'm uh, getting this, are you, Padre? Hmm? Her name is. Kylie, that is the name which is pinned on her jacket. Well, that's it. Here it is. The final script. Finished. Another masterpiece. Oh, oh. Uh, that's only an hour and a half to go. Oh, d uh, I still get nervous, you know. This is worse than going to the dentist. And I get so nervous about that, I have to have gas before he can give me the injection. In fact, I have to have gas before I have gas. And believe you me. I'm good for nothing for the rest of the day. Recently bereaved, <coughs> lost her husband in tragic circumstances. He died. <laughs> much more tragic than that. Uh, the thing about these visits is tact. Right? Tact. You've got. You've got to have sense, 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 sensitivity. And above all, respect. Oh, he was a he was a good man. 
mind, Mrs. McIntyre. A good man. A hell of a... 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 Give him a lovely send off tomorrow. I, I do a nice we do. I do a nice, nice we do. Which reminds me, have you got that uh, list of his favourite hymns after you come? <laughs> it's your husband's funeral, Mrs. McIntyre. It's not the universal song. <laughs> Maybe we could do a wee medley, eh? A nice wee medley. A nice wee medley. You, you leave it to me. Ah, yes, yes, it's the Reverend Jolly here. My usual taxi to the BBC, please. What do you mean, who's paying? Bloody cheek. No. Uh, money, keys, and the sermon. Ephesia, where, where's the sermon? I need this. Sorry, darling. I'll see you all later. <laughs> 